ran for office as New Labour, we will govern as New Labour. And this New Labour government will govern in the interests of all our people, the whole of this nation. That I can promise you. Today, we are charged with the deep responsibility of government. Today, enough of talking. It is time now to do. Thank you. On May the 1st, Britain elected new Labour with a pledge to serve the British people. The government is already delivering on its promises. This is a new partnership to offer equality of opportunity and high standards for all our children. Cutting class sizes for young children, investing an additional £2.3 billion in our education system and announcing plans to raise standards in all schools. The Labour Party election manifesto promised we would get hospitals built. Today we honour that election promise. Saving millions on red tape so money can go to patient care and giving the go-ahead for a £1.3 billion hospital building programme. Our cut in VAT on fuel will save every family money this winter. This is a new era which calls for a new generation politics and a new generation leadership. Andy Slaughter can make sure the government delivers for Uxbridge too. Successful, strong, with a proven track record, sharing Tony Blair's vision for a new Britain, Andy Slaughter will have a voice at the heart of government. In fact, he's already won extra money for Hillingdon Hospital. In a very short time, the new Labour government has achieved a lot. It's put the money into health and education, which it said it would, two and a half billion into education, more than one billion into health. What we need to see now is that that money comes to Uxbridge. I think one of the, the things that people are most grateful for from the, the government is that they are making promises and then keeping them. We've cut VAT on fuel, we've put money into health, we've put money into education, we've cut bureaucracy in the National Health Service. We, we said we would do that, we are doing it. I'm 100% behind what Tony Blair has done within the Labour Party and what he's now doing for the people of Britain. People were very cynical after the 18 years of the Tories when they made promises and didn't keep them. Above all, we must deliver on what we say. Uh, and I promise the people of Uxbridge that I will deliver on what I say if they elect me on the 31st of July. As a local authority leader, uh, I modernised Hamilton's Council, made it a new Labour authority. We established nursery places for every three and four year old. We opened new facilities. We had excellent exam results in our schools. On crime, I established one of the largest and most successful closed-circuit television systems in the centre of Hammersmith. That's already had a very outstanding effect in cutting crime in the area. I haven't been elected yet, but I've already been working closely with the local authority and with local people, and we've already had a substantial success. Usually Recreation Ground is going to be built on as part of a superstar development. I've persuaded the local authority not to go ahead with that, and that will remain for the future as public open space. Open space and Greenbelt land is part of Uxbridge's heritage. Part of the Greenbelt was established by a Labour government. It's also part of Uxbridge's future. I wish to see Greenbelt land stay as open space available for all the people of Uxbridge, and I'll be fighting, as I have in Usley, for that to continue. I hope to work with local people, with the local authority, and with business. But if there are disputes, if there are issues on which I believe local people's interests aren't being represented, then of course I will stand up for them and I will represent them against whoever, and that includes the local authority. I've got a hard act to follow in Sir Michael Shursby, but I will be living in the constituency, I will be doing regular surgeries around the constituency, I'll be available to local people, I'll be sharing the lives of local people, and I hope that I will be a, a very good constituency MP representing Uxbridge's interests at Westminster. The Tory party nationally is still a shambles as it was on May the 1st. A vote for the Tories in this by-election is a vote for second best. It's important that people do vote on the 31st of July. By-elections often have a low turnout because people think it won't change anything. Well, that's wrong, because it will change a great deal if people in Uxbridge elect a new Labour MP. They'll be electing somebody who can work with the new Labour government and who can deliver on promises to the people of Uxbridge. And supporting Labour isn't good enough. 
people have to go out and vote on the 31st if they actually want to change things. I passionately believe, as I know the Prime Minister believes, that people in this country should be allowed to develop their full potential. That hasn't happened under the Tories for the last 18 years. The money that we are putting into jobs, into education and into health will ensure that people have an opportunity. That's what I believe in. That's what I've been fighting for as a member of the Labour Party over the past 15 years. And that's what I'll continue to fight for if I'm elected by the people of Uxbridge to be their MP. Vote for Andy Slaughter on July the 31st. Any other vote is a wasted vote and would risk Uxbridge people losing the chance to influence government. If you want better schools, better hospitals, action on the green belt and tough action on crime, you must vote Labour on 31st of July. Vote for Andy Slaughter because Uxbridge deserves the best.